Hey everyone, welcome back to the Twin Cities Film Fest 2023. I'm Tiffany Norton, your red carpet host, and we are talking to some of our filmmakers in our shorts block, and uh, Justice for Batman. Okay, just been discussing this a little bit with our filmmaker, Benjamin. Benjamin, oh my gosh, last name, give it to me. T.D. T.D. T.D., thank you. I'm sorry, I can't even read my own writing. <laughs> That's why I'm not a director. I'm not in charge of anything. All right, Justice for Batman. Now, okay, you, you, you're glancing through titles on Netflix. Justice for Batman, like what is this, some new Marvel DC thing? No, no, this is for gearheads, for all my uh, car people out there. Okay, fill people in a little bit on what this is about. Yeah, so Justice for Batman is about a guy who loves the 1966 Batman. He uh, is the only person licensed by DC to make these cars. and The Batmobile. Yeah. This man makes replicas of the original Batmobile from the television series, yeah. right? Okay. Yes, the Adam West show. And he sells it to a guy out on the West Coast, and the car takes a little bit too long, and the guy on the West Coast stops paying for it, and then eventually gets thrown into a criminal court case where four deputies from the West Coast gets flown to Indiana and raid the subject's car, like, garage. So. Now, see, this is the ironic part, because what would Batman actually say about this injustice, you know? Where's he in all this? But, um, so, yeah, so this is actually a criminal court case. How did you hear about it? Yeah, so I was actually a student when making this film, and I sent a message out to a lot of my friends, and my friend said, hey, a guy in my hometown makes Batmobiles, and he's in a criminal court case, and... That's how I heard about it. That's fantastic. Yeah. Well, it's kind of fun to see how those uh, story ideas come up. And, yeah, I've never heard of this case. I'm really interested. Okay, is this your first film at the Twin Cities Film Fest? Yes, yeah. It is my first film at this festival. Fantastic. All right, and Heidi, you're involved in the project as well? Yes, I was a second shooter for the film. Fantastic. And is this also your first time at the Twin Cities Film Fest? Yes. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> All right, good, good. Okay, I told you guys before the interview, I was going to ask you a question. Yeah. All right, if they're making the movie of your life, who do you think, who can bring it? Who can be you? Who can really embody you? And it can be alive or dead, anybody. Anybody in the world. Anyone in the... Anybody. Oh, well then, if it's anyone, maybe someone like Marlon Brando. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I like that. I like that reach back. Marlon... He had it all. The sensitivity, the ruggedness. Okay, okay. I love it. Okay, did you come up with an answer? Okay, what do you think? Well, I was going to say Emma Watson. Also great choice. Yes, okay. Well, hey, everybody, I don't want to let you go. I know you're uh, you're, your first time here at the Twin Cities Film Fest, the screening for our shorts block. Again, your project is Justice for Batman. Check it out. And we'll be back in a minute on the red carpet. Thanks so much.